Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we'll be slaying this beautiful blunt cut bob courtesy of My First Wig. You guys already know My First Wig comes through with the beautiful packaging. I believe this one is a part of their Zodiac collection. Her name is Aries and she's a Malaysian blunt cut bob. I went ahead and switched out my old wig and put on the new one and automatically I was super in love. This one is 12 inches in length, 130% density, and I opted for the size 1 lace front cap. It's an elastic band included and as you guys can see this will make it glueless. Now I'm going to start off by adding my heat protectant, working that in, and then I'm going to go in with the wax stick and we're going to go ahead and melt it down like straight out the back before we even cut off the lace. We want to make sure that everything is going to be laid. After each step, I typically will like work it in and use a brush or a comb to make sure that we are on track and everything is brushed and flat in the direction I want it to go. Now you already know it was not slayed by Ashley unless an electric hot comb was a part of the process. I personally love to use mine on the entire lace area. You guys can see it makes a huge difference to make everything look super flat, pressed out, and flush. I'm going to go ahead and pull the hair back and begin to cut off the excess lace. Now for you, whatever wig you're wearing, if you want to tint the lace, bleach the knots, um, any of that stuff, you would do that before you cut off the excess lace. The one thing I love most about my first wig is they are a beginner friendly company that focuses on making sure that even the beginner of beginners, person who has never worn a wig before, can definitely slay this wig and make it look amazing. So with that being said, I did not tint the lace, I did not bleach the knots, I did not pluck the wig out, and I did not do anything to customize it to make it look as good as it looks. It literally came pre-plucked pre-parted and you guys can see how well this one matches my complexion so all I had to do was cut off the lace and we are good to go next up I'm going to go ahead and pour out a little bit of my adhesive I'm going for a glueless non-glue adhesive sometimes glueless means you are still bonding the wig down you're just not using an actual conventional glue you guys will notice that I am applying it to my forehead I go right in front of my actual hairline and the reason I do this is because I just don't want to risk um, damaging my hairline at all even though it's not glue you know it still bonds down and I already have a thin hairline to begin with so I do not wear my wigs on my hairline at all ever and I just pair it with a blow dryer on a cool setting this is going to melt the lace and allow it to literally bond to my skin that way it can fit I can part it any way that I want and it's not going to slide it's not going to move it's going to be melted down and bonded down for my pleasure my favorite part about this wig is the actual lace. If I did not mention this is Swiss lace, which you already know is my favorite lace. I feel like it always blends with my complexion. It's easy to work with when bonding down. And it also just looks flawless when it's all said and done. Like this is the lace. If you want it to look like skin, if you want it to look like scalp, this is the lace always to go with. Prepping the wig was done for us. All we had to do was install her and we are done. But of course now we want to style her and make her look amazing. I'm going to start off by adding a little bit of baby hair. You guys know I always love to do the two swoops where the center is kind of, you know, no baby hair. And then like right above the peaks of my eyebrows, I like to add little swoops to make it look super nice. I did get a little bit carried away in this video. And now that I've been wearing the hair for a couple of days, I did remove all of the extra swoops that I'm going to do. But I'm going to show you how I do my process I like to use a mousse to go ahead and style my hair pretty much all of the baby hair with a mousse and then I'm gonna bond it down um, with an elastic band to set it and then I'm gonna use the product they provided as an edge control and you'll see that in just a moment
If I did not mention, her name is Aries and she is a Malaysian blunt bob in the length 12 inches, 130% density. I did get the adjustable um, elastic band, which makes the wig glueless without bonding her down. And I did also opt for a size one cap. All of these details are linked in the description box. That way you can go ahead and pick your wig out. And if you want her just like I have mine, you'll have all the information there. Next up is the elastic band that I mentioned before. This is pretty much what I would use inside the wig to make it glueless, but I like to put it outside the wig to go ahead and bond and melt my wigs down. Sometimes I'll wear this elastic around the hairline when I'm taking a shower. That way my wig will not slide or move. It'll stay in place and that way it can dry back exactly how it was. Sometimes I'll sleep with it. Sometimes I'll even go in public with it because I like my wig to be melted, laid and slayed when it is time for me to slay. While we slay the hairline and allow it to melt on its own, I'm going to go in and section the rest of the wig out, pretty much the length of the hair. And I'm going to use my Babyless Flat Iron to silk press the hair all the way around, adding a little bit of a bump at the ends for a nice blunt cut, but a cute little, you know, girly style. Now the hair along the hairline has been setting for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and remove the elastic band and reveal the results. Now I love the way it came out, but I forgot on camera to go ahead and comb it out and re-swoop it like I typically would. That's a step that's key to make it look super natural and sleek, but you guys already know, I already know how to make my baby hair look good. So you know, I just forgot that step on camera, I apologize for that, but you guys already know. Just take your rat tail comb, um, kind of comb out the baby hair and you'll see it'll keep the shape that you pretty much swooped it to and from there you'll be able to comb it out thin it out put some back if it's too much and reform it so that way it'll look a lot more thin neat and you know ready to go Next up, we're going to add a little bit of powder to the hairline. I know it looks a little white and stark, but don't worry. You'll see in just a moment how it's going to melt right before your eyes into my complexion. I like to do this even when the hairline matches my complexion, and I just feel like it makes it blend even more. You can use your makeup that you already use for your skin, um, be it your powder or you can use like your concealer. I prefer powder along the hairline and concealer in the parting, and you'll see my concealer in just a moment. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my Aussie hairspray and as you guys can see how amazing that made the front look the powder literally melted into my complexion and then the actual hair looks so 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 good Now we're going to take our Fenty Concealer. You guys know this is my favorite. I believe the color I use is 420. And I just take a um, eyeshadow brush and I just go into the parting and apply that. I blend it out. Now I'm going to be trying the edge control that came with my package from my first wig. Now they've sent me this a couple of times and I always forget to use it on camera but I actually love it a lot. It's like a clear edge control jelly and I'm just going into those sections where I already have baby hair and just add it on top and it did so amazing at taming it. Now I did this at the very end but I just included it right here so that you guys can see. It'll cancel out those flyaways so good and this is my result. You guys can see there's so much body and movement in this one the cut is the perfect length for my height and size i'm absolutely in love and blown away with this wig be sure to check it out in the description box also they included a beautiful package for me they gave me this really nice disposable um what do you call these things mask i've said mask many times i forgot and they also included some free goodies in the package as well so be sure to go ahead and purchase yours by clicking the link in the description box they also have so many other options there as well thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one smooches